Wow. I know all of these days are awful, but I just said when I came down here to you guys, I shopped at Top, top Supermarket my whole life. Yeah. yeah. That's our supermarket, you know? And it, just about everybody in America is going to have that soon, right? Mm -hmm. And then only in America is that shooting out of the headlines briefly yesterday for another shooting out here. Yeah. Yes. Right in uh, uh, at a, Laguna. At yeah. a, a predominantly Asian church. Yes. 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 And I, I, yes, I grew up, Tops is our super, that's my supermarket. That's where I grew up in Lockport. And then when I, uh, you know, would, you know, when I answered the photo, yuck, yucks, that whole, also near Hurdle Avenue, that Tops. Yes. And then the, anyway, um, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know. You know what? Can I just say, this is what needs to happen. This is the most important guess the quote. Ever okay. on the Stephanie Miller Show. Don't screw this up, Chris. Okay. Oh, all right. Who said the House GOP leadership has enabled white nationalism, white supremacy, and anti-Semitism? History has taught us that what begins with uh, with words ends in far worse. GOP leaders must renounce and reject these views and those who hold them. Uh, uh, Betty Rubble. No. Well, horribly bad guess that. Liz Cheney. Oh. What has happened? What has has happened when Liz Cheney is becoming a lion? Of the left. Is it even left or right anymore? Like, this is what we can't be afraid is to call out the actual culprits. Yeah. This is geo This is Fox News. W at what point are we past fire in a crowded theater? You know, I mean, they already have the deaths of how many uh, uh, deniers on their hands, right? Mm -hmm. And and now uh, this is, I, how much more exactly can you echo what Tur Tucker Carlson says every night, right? This white replacement theory. What their congresswoman, Elise Stefanik, says. Yes. Who knows better? Who went to Harvard? All these like phony, like liberal elite Ivy Leaguers pretending to be MAGA populists to get votes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. She used to be considered moderate. I'm sorry, I hate her right now. She oh is, my God. She's the definition of evil. She's everything that's wrong with the she Republican Party. She just tweeted this like, baby formula. How evil do you have to be? Yeah. To suggest, star this is the pro-life party suggesting starving in I infants, which is illegal. Even and then calls us pedo grifters for pointing that out. Right. Yeah, you're a pedophile if you point out that that's just insanely cruel and illegal. Yeah. To uh, Okay. Anyway, I, uh, I don't, this one, you know when you say it hit close to home, like this literally hit home. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is my hometown and it, it, it's, I don't, okay. Rosanna Arquette. Our friend said, the only replacement theory I know of is to replace every single Republican with people who believe in democracy, vote blue all the way. I mean, I, I don't know what to say anymore. It, it, this party has become a party of white supremacist terrorists, mm -hmm. whether they're defending the January 6th terrorists, whether they're inciting this kind of thing. I, he echoed all of this exactly. I mean, somebody made a good point yesterday that this kid was 15 when he heard the president of the United States mm -hmm. say there's fine people on both sides of yeah. Charlottesville. The people screaming Jews will not replace us. Mm -hmm. So that's what this kid heard mm -hmm. from the I mean, I'm sorry. Once again, this country was not this broken before Donald Trump. No. He made all of this OK. This is what he made all of this worse. Yes. Yes. Yes, exactly. I'm not saying, obviously, we didn't have racism, but this is just, I, I, I think, um, I remember Beto O'Rourke. I, God, mm -hmm. I hope he becomes governor, was one of the, you know, people speaking out most clearly back with El Paso, saying this is Trump's rhetoric. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the president of the United States rhetoric mm -hmm. about immigration that, you know, was the deadly. So now we have the deadliest massacre against Latino people in American history, the deadliest against Jews, the deadliest against black people in our history, mm -hmm. just now in this. Yeah. A dash on Twitter said the uh, shooting in Buffalo is the result of Fox News and the GOP praising Kyle Rittenhouse as a hero for shooting two innocent people to death and facing no legal consequences. It's the result of Rittenhouse getting to meet the president at Mar-a-Lago to celebrate his acquittal. Yes, Fox News made him a hero. He went across lines to hunt black people. Yeah. So that you don't think this kid saw that kid being celebrated and made a hero by Fox News? It, it's. I, I would argue, though, that an 18-year-old is probably not even getting his news from Fox News. He is getting it on the Internet. Yeah. He is Four reading chat. it. He's, he's, he's getting it from other sources. Yeah. But the, when he goes into the living room or goes into the kitchen to get you know milk out of the refrigerator, his mom and dad are watching Fox News and they're seeing Tucker Carlson. He's like, oh, that's con that's yeah. com he's confirming he on the news what I'm hearing. Altered this gun online. for 60 for, I don't know, 60 bucks on his dad's power drill. Yeah. You know, of course, had high capacity magazines that were illegal, but it's had it, been given a mental health evaluation. because yeah. He threatened to do it to and, his and legal.
office. And here we go, good guy with a gun. How many good guys with guns are dead now? Like this hero security guard, yeah. Yeah. because they're outgunned and, and they're they not wearing body, body and they're not wearing body armor and they don't have the element of surprise and they don't have a military assault weapon. I mean, it's it's, you know, so this poor guy in Buffalo tried, you know, and he's dead now. So what and what happens every time one of these stupid good guy with a gun scenarios blows up? You don't hear any a peep from the right wing, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, and of course, the, what's the layer? God, it's just layer upon layer of awful. Peyton, of course, his name is Peyton. <laughs> had plans to continue massacring people if he had not been stopped. He had plans to continue down Jefferson Avenue to shoot more black people, possibly go to another store or location. Um, yeah, I don't. Uh, okay, I just, I, I don't know how many times we can have this whole mm-hmm. conversation, but I just. What did Secretary Pete say? It's just, wait, yeah, what will Tucker Carlson say tonight, right? Not my fault. Yeah. I mean, the same thing they say every time when their rhetoric is echoed almost exactly. And and how many times, how many years have we been saying white supremacist domestic terrorism is our number one problem? And then they scream, and, oh, cancel culture. Uh. Yes. Tucker Carlson won't even say not my problem tonight. He will double down on this. Right. Yeah. He, yeah he's he'll not going to go, he'll he'll go on the defensive at right. all. He never does that. He'll, he yeah. will go on the offensive by doubling down on what he. Yeah. Does. Maybe they'll have he'll have Kyle Rittenhouse on to comment on this. Yeah. He'll say, Vic- "I understand why this kid did it." Yeah. Victoria tweets, "Maybe it was a mistake to set the precedent of not convicting a 17-year-old serial killer who crossed straight state lines to hunt black people with an assault weapon at a Black Lives Matter protest." I mean, it's uh, and just the constant gaslighting. Of, of them saying these were violent and they burned our cities to the ground when we were all there. Where do you think I got this T-shirt? We were all at the Black Lives Matter protests. Yeah. Everyone of every race and age. It was hugely peaceful. Right. I, uh, okay. Uh, where is Speaker Pelosi? Uh, uh, six. Speaker Pelosi yesterday. As you know, this isn't just a fringe theory on the corner of the internet. It, it's being pushed by right-wing Hang media personalities. That, that, no, that's, 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 that's Dana Bash in, okay. setting the question up for Pelosi. Oh, okay, sorry, Chris. Oh, oh okay. All right. Starting over. Yes. As you know, this isn't just a fringe theory on the corner of the internet. It, it's being pushed by right-wing media personalities and some political figures. What do you say to them, and do they share any responsibility in this attack? Well, I do think that it... it it's so horrible, and it's a horrible way to wake up on Sunday for these families to face that reality and to have it be part of a philosophy in our country, as you described. But I do think that some of the uh, people of faith, as well as leaders in in sense of community and the rest, not necessarily political people, because that might be dividing, that people have to come out and say that this has no place in our country. Boy, if ever there was a Monday, we needed Eric Bollert. You know, this is what comes of this both sides bull, right? Yeah. That, oh, well, we all need to turn tone down the rhetoric and, oh, well, it's just gotten so. No, it is one party that is inciting and enabling violent white supremacist terrorism, period, from January 6th to Saturday in Buffalo, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Dom said, where's the outrage about grooming teenagers to be racist mass murderers? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I David from how many you are correct, quote, sir. am I going to quote more Republicans this morning than I am? He said every society has extremist crackpots. Every other society denies them firearms. I mean, it's just and I heard it was almost heartbreaking. I think it was the mayor of Buffalo. I get it. It's thought this is going to be what changes things. This today is going to be what makes it. Well, who didn't think, you know, Sandy Hook? Yeah. You're like, America will not stand for six year olds being mm-hmm executed at point blank range in the face with air 15s well guess what america you know somebody said that when you we say this is not who we are well it is who we are until we and again people go oh it's not the time to be political i don't know what else to do but put all democrats in because you're not going to get it done with republicans they are the part they are part of the problem yeah that they are the reason like i just thought this one piece the magazines they they won't they'll block anything to do with that. Yeah. Just the one piece. Can we get rid of these high capacity magazines that that he bought illegally? Nope. Like that's so I, I don't know what else to do. I mean, for a multitude of reasons, including, I don't know, all of our rights bodily are, are as women, probably as gay people as you name it. 
We've got to turn out and vote, or I, I, I just... Yes, uh, Santiago said things like Buffalo are inevitable result of a years-long campaign to convince young white men that they are under attack. I hope the views were worth it, Tucker Carlson. Um, yeah, Occupy Democrats said FBI announces they're investigating the mass shooting in Buffalo as racially motivated violent extremism. The shooter left a manifesto citing Tucker Carlson's white replacement theory as his motive. Um, how, what is... Well, thank God we have Glenn Kirshner today. He couldn't make it Friday. I don't know where we are in terms of, is there any legal, legal culpability for anybody for inciting violence? I mean, I'm going to talk to Rude Pundit coming up. This is why he wrote a piece about Trump, you know, on Twitter. This is why Trump was kicked off Twitter for, vi- for inciting violence January 6th, right? They're saying this kid's parents, or I'm sorry, he received guns as Christmas gifts. I don't know if it was from yeah. the parents. I don't know who it was from. Yeah. But if this kid has been eva- had a mental health evaluation because he had threatened to shoot up his school, right. why the hell is anyone giving that kid a gun, let alone yeah. he's a- allowed to purchase one? Right, right. Like, that's just insane. So yeah. hold the parents Jeff, accountable. Yeah, Jeff said, I'm reading the Buffalo Murderer's Manifesto. Let there be no talk of mental illness. The document is very cogent, articulate fascist hate directly linked to fairly mainstream uh, far-right views. I, is it even far right anymore when you've got Congress, a bunch of sitting Congress people? You know, Matt Gates tweeted after a while back, Tucker Carlson's absolutely right about this replacement theory. I mean, this, this is not, is that fringe when they're sitting Congress people? No. I mean, the fringe has become sitting Congress people. That, that's, this is the problem. Like, I'm looking at all these, you know, they're freaking out at the Pennsylvania primary tomorrow on the Republican side because the crazy lady is starting to out crazy Dr. Oz and the other. <laughs> right wing crazy but and the thing is like I, I, the problem is you go like oh well that'll never happen or she's not electable we have marjorie taylor green and lauren bobert in, in mm. congress right and yeah. madison cawthorn and a bunch of crazy i mean that's that's i think to me the most awful thing about trumpism trumpism is truly anybody any crazy whatever it's just the more far right the better can actually get into congress these yeah. are the people okay uh, yes, Brian Tyler Cohen said uh, House Republican chair. House Republican chair, yeah. Elise Stefanik, uh, just said that those who criticizing her for suggesting that migrant babies um, should be left to starve to death are pedophiles, echoing a QAnon conspiracy theory. Um, oh, Tristan Snell, former Trump um, University prosecutor, with a good point. The Buffalo Shooters Manifesto focuses on white birth rates. The Supreme Court's opinion overturning Roe cites domestic supply of infants. This is not a coincidence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it has infected us all the way up to the Supreme Court. Mm-hmm. Remember I kept saying that when you read that creepy line in there? You're like, they mean white babies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? Totally. Yeah. That's what's wrong with foster kids. Right? Because yeah. there's we have 400,000. Since when is there not a supply of kids? There's 400,000 kids in foster care. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You would like a, a fresh, like a freshly fallen snow. You would like fresh white babies. Ah, uh, I just okay. Uh, this might be the I, the guy that is uh, owns the show that's trying to kill me for the life insurance money. This he plays the long game. Let's give him that because yes. today might be the day I stroke out, and he he won't seem like he's connected anyways. Just the news has reached him. And then he'll get the life insurance money. I mean, he's here to collect the life insurance yeah. when right. they come up. With the yeah, is it a coincidence he's here today? Yeah. He's making you stroke out. Yes. He'll be down to say hello a little okay. bit. Okay. Okay. Because. Before he goes back to New York because. With breakfast meats? Is he bringing breakfast meats? We don't eat meat! I do. Speak oh, for yourself, you do. lady. Yeah, you do. We do. Okay. You don't. Wow. Yeah. Greedy. Yeah. How That's... many years did he bring us pastries and breakfast meat? And I don't eat any of that. Yes. None. <laughs> the three of us do not eat sweet things in no, the morning. No, we, we do, do not, not eat, sweet eat things. pastries. Speak it took for years. yourself. Really? Do you? Do you? Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. I'd rather have a bagel and cream cheese. Well, Sometimes it's Donut Friday. Oh, no, no, never. Oh, I yeah. never eat donuts. Right. 